When glaciers advanced during the last ice age, what prevented the entire Earth from freezing over? During the last 24 million years, geological conditions should have produced drastic drops in carbon dioxide levels, possibly leading to runaway icebox conditions. New research, co-authored by Carnegie scientist Ken Caldera, indicates that plants are a missing piece of this puzzle. Over geological time, large volumes of carbon dioxide have been released into the atmosphere by volcanoes. This would cause carbon dioxide to build up in the atmosphere, were it not for countervailing geological processes of sedimentation. These bury carbon-containing minerals in the crust, sequestering it from the atmosphere. Overall rates of sedimentation are controlled by the upthrust of mountains and the erosion and breakdown of their rocks. The rise of the Andes, Himalayas, Tibetan Plateau, and North American mountains should have led to a fast burial of carbon dioxide, but carbon dioxide levels have remained stable. Plants provide the missing piece by controlling the rate of weathering reactions. They secrete acids that dissolve minerals, hold soils, and increase the amount of carbon dissolved in groundwater. But when carbon dioxide levels get low, the plants suffocate, reducing these effects. Less sediment is eroded, so less carbon is buried. This produces a negative feedback loop, so carbon dioxide levels do not drop too much. Unfortunately, these processes will not be able to counteract global greenhouse warming. Humans are adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere 100 times faster than all Earth's volcanoes. Rock weathering will require hundreds of thousands of years to remove these emissions. The research appears in the July 2, 2009 issue of Nature. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.